sum of the areas of two squares is 468 meter square if the difference of their perimeter is 24 find the sides of two squares so let the sides of two squares be two squares b x and y so two sides squares of two sides you can consider one side x the other one b y so they told sum of the area what is area areas will be like area of this one will be x square area of this one will be y square and what will be the perimeter perimeter will be 4x and here it will be 4y so perimeter formula is 4x and 4y of this square is 4x and this square is 4y they told sum of the areas of two squares so areas of two squares <coughs> x square plus y square is 468 and the difference between their perimeters <coughs> and the difference between their perimeters is that is 4x minus 4y is 24 so if i'll take 4 common x minus y is 24 so x minus y is 24 by 4 so x minus y is 4 times 1 4 times 6 so x minus y is 6 so from here if i'll take the value of x if i'll take the value of x so x will be 6 plus y x will be 6 plus y this value you can substitute in this equation so in place of x i'll substitute 6 plus y whole square plus y square is 468 it is in the form of a plus b whole square so a square plus 2ab plus b square plus y square is 468 so here it is 6 6 y y so 6 square is 36 plus 12y plus y square plus y square is 468 so y square plus y square is 2y square plus 12y plus 36 minus 468 equals 0 so 468 minus 36 that will be 432 okay 2y square plus 12y minus 432 equals 0 so in all the three terms we can take 2 common so if we'll take 2 common y square plus 6y minus 216 equals 0 so here the equation will be y square plus 6y minus 216 equals 0 by 2 so that is 0 now I need to factorize this one so y square plus 6y minus 216 so 1 into 216 the factors of 216 so 2 108 2 54 2 27 3 times 9 3 times 3 now see here if we we'll take this one this 3 3 times 3 is 9 9 times 2 18 and 3 times 2 6 6 times 2 12 so 12 and 18 will be the factors because 18 minus 12 you will get 6 so factorize y square plus 18y minus 12y minus 216 equals 0 so y if we'll take common y plus 18 minus 12 if we'll take common y plus 18 so y plus 18 into y minus 12 equals 0 so y plus 18 equals 0 y minus 12 equals 0 y equals minus 18 y equals 12 so the value of y it cannot be negative because the sides of a square cannot be negative so y equals 12 so if y is 12 if y is 12 then what is x x is 6 plus 12 6 plus 12 so the value of x is 18 so the two sides is one is 12 the other one is 
18 1 is 12 the other value is 18 the sides of two squares one side is 18 the side of another square is 12